Hi, this is Lena back at you with another soap making video. Um, today we are going to be making a bay rum scented soap. Alright, this is bay rum from Aztec. Put it clear up. Um, and this uh, has notes of spice orange, cinnamon and clove, and sensual musk. Now, um, this does smell good. The only thing about this particular fragrance oil, um, it is discontinued from, um, what is it, candlemaking.com. Uh, so, um, when I decide to make this again, which I have a feeling I will, I'm going to have to um, find a different supplier. And it does look like there's plenty of options available, so I'm sure I'll come across something that nice. I, I like. Um, I'm using the Black Pipe, uh, Black Knight Mica Powder. It's going to be more of an accent today from Wholesale Supplies Plus, Crafter's Choice, and then from Nurture Soap. I'm using my Copper Penny. All right, so that's going to be the main color. All right, um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, blend up my additives. I have my coconut milk, coconut water, and kaolin clay in here. I'm going to give that a quick look. All right, so this uh, fragrance oil doesn't discolor or anything, so I'm going to go ahead and add it in before I um, discolor or accelerate. <laughs> I think that's the main point, the zero acceleration. So I'm adding that in now. I'm going to just stir it in, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my light solution, which, you know, already has my, my uh, sodium lactate in it. my stick head here and just blend that up I don't want to get too attached to this fragrance because I can't get it anymore at least um, so it does smell wonderful though so we'll see what we can find to replace what we have here we're gonna go ahead and pour off our black I don't want too much black. I'm gonna pour just a little bit more. I really want it to be an accent color for sure. Okay. Let's get that mixed up. Hopefully we don't have to do too much blend in here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get put our copper penny in. Let's get our copper penny in there. Hopefully we can get this blended in nicely without having to do too much stick blending. Alright, that is thickening up a lot faster than I thought it would. I was at very, I won't say, well my oils were like at 67 degrees when I started and my lye solution was at 79 so not soaping very warm today that's for sure all right I didn't plan to do it in the pot swirl but I think that's what I'm gonna have to do because this is so thick and I'm going to put all of that black in there And this will probably still turn out nice. Alright, so we got that in there. I'm just going to smush this around. I'm going to take it around one or two times. model but you never know clean up some mess here I like a mess
die for a moment. I don't know why, but we're gonna go ahead and try to do something at this top. We've got some cording going. And this is very thick. Most of the bars, not all. It's okay. And this copper is looking lighter <laughs> than I originally thought, even though quite a bit into this pattern. So, even if it's a pale color and a black, it should still look nice. Alright. It is, this is our Bayron soap. up on me. Not quite sure why, but it did. And um, we will be back for the cut. with you to cut our, um, <laughs> what's the name of this soap? Our Bay Rum soap. All right. Um, it turned out pretty nice. The color isn't as dark. That copper color didn't come out as dark as I thought it would uh, but still looks good let's make our first cut here mm, smells wonderful and here it is all right that looks pretty good black is a nice accent Now this uh, batter did get quite thick on me, so I am going through this hoping that there aren't a whole lot of air bubbles. And it hardened up really quickly. Alright, up here we got some uncolored soap got in there, but that's alright. So far, so good. No air pockets. All right. Black is looking nice. All right. Got a little bit more uncolored soap in there. I think I was scraping around the bowl, trying to make sure nothing was left. That's how I got that there. Ooh, nice, nice swirl, simple soap. Looks very pretty. blobs of the black there all right but no bubbles so far which I'm really happy about so in fact it did get very thick on me it looks great love the fact there's no air bubbles okay, coming down to the end here Nice. All right, let's see if we can get a sample piece off of here. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Might be a very small sample piece if I do. Actually, I'm going to weigh this one and see how much it weighs and then decide whether I should take a sample piece off. All right, so. Um, this is our Bay Rum Soap. Alright. And thanks for watching. Uh, check us out at thesoapobsession.com. And I'll see you later.